Okay, let's look at example one. We want to reduce 2,520 divided by 7,700 to lowest terms, which means we don't want any factors in common between the numerator and the denominator. Well, the first thing that we see is that both numbers end in a zero. So I can strike off a zero we get 252 divided by 7, 770. And notice that striking off a zero is exactly the same as dividing by 10. So if I had 2,520 divided by 10 over 7,700 divided by 10, dividing by 10 moves the decimal one place to the left So now we have in the numerator 2,052 and in the denominator 770. And you see that's exactly what we got just by striking off a zero. Now we're going to get the prime factors of 252 and the prime factors of 770 to see which ones are in common. So let's start with 252. Since this number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it's an even number, and 2 will go into it evenly. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 5 twice with the remainder of 1, 2 goes into 12 six times. Again, 6 is an even number, so 2 will go evenly into this number, 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 6, 3 times. Now I see that 3 is not an even number, so 2 will no longer go into this. But let's check on 3. 6 plus 3 is 9, and 3 goes evenly into 9, so 3 will go e evenly into 63. 3 goes into 6 twice, 3 goes into 3 once, and we know about 21, that's just 3 times 7. So now let's gather. We have two twos, two threes, and one seven. Let's do the same thing with 770. We're going to start with two again because zero is an even digit. Two goes into seven three times with the remainder of one. Two goes into 17 eight times with the remainder of one. And two goes into 10 five times. I know that five is odd, so two no longer goes into this number. But what about three? So to see whether or not three goes into 385, we're going to add the digits. 3 plus 8 plus 5, let's see, 3 plus 8 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16, 1 plus 6 is 7, 3 does not go into 7 evenly, so 3 will not go into 385, but this number ends in a 5 or a 0, so 5 will go into it. 5 goes into 38, seven times with the remainder of three. Five goes into 35, seven times. And 77 is a friend. That's seven times 11. And now we can gather. We have one, two, one, five, one, seven, and one, 11. So two times five times seven times 11. And that means that we can write Oh, here we go. We can write 252 over 770 as 2 squared times 3 squared times 7 and 2 times 5 times 7 times 11. And it's important to remember what these squares mean. 
I could write, if I wanted, 2 squared is just 2 times 2. 3 squared is just 3 times 3, and then we have 7. We have 2 times 5 times 7 times 11. And now we have some common factors. Let's see, we've got a 2 in the numerator and denominator, and we have a 7 in the numerator and denominator. So what is left? In the numerator, we have 2 times 3 times 3. And in the denominator, we have 5 times 11. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 11 is 55. And that's the answer.